Hi all, it's Jason here again from the JLT Railroad, and tonight is uh, update number five, and I'm um, going to be going through um, our first edition of our lift up bridge. This was originally going to be a swing out bridge, and um, after some recommendations from the guys on MRH forums, um, I decided to give a uh, swing up bridge a go. So, what I'm going to do now is just um, give you a quick rundown of um, how we've gotten to this stage. As I said, this is just the first version. Um, some of it's just done in treated pine um, and plywood, um, just a very cheap grade plywood. Some of it's actually done in hardwood. Um, so, the rest of it, um, when it gets redone, will be done in a lot better timber. So, as you can see, um, the track work's changed a fair bit um, at the intermodal terminal over here. Originally, the track was going to come around the back through the backdrop and through a graded branch um, down to the second level. Um, that's now been replaced with a helix. And this, um, this branch that was running from the backdrop around is now actually going to be um, an interchange, hence the crossover here. Uh, so that's the interchange branch that runs down through here and eventually end up hooking up into the main line with a curved turn out here, which is this one here. I'll just have to finish off the track bit there. Um, so that's that bit. Um, as you can see, the, the Walther's crossover. Uh, it's a number 30, a 30 degree crossover. Um, as you can see, there's quite a few texture marks from where it's just taken me um, a couple of goes to actually get the alignments right. Um, and I've managed to pretty much get it spot on now with um, some nice, even radiuses, they're all about 30 inch radiuses at the moment um, which is this curve here running onto the actual bridge part so as you can see um, this is the Walther's single track truss bridge kit um, put this together the other night so this is now being cut um, in, you can actually see where the, the bridge abutments are going to go in here um, where these cutouts are Another one over here, you can see the piece of pine just acting as a rib in between actually supporting the bridge. So that's all been cut out and I've got the track in place at the moment just to test out the curves and stuff. That's where it comes through from the rear section. Um, this section all through here is um, hardwood and as you can see, if you look down in here you can see how I've bolted it to the actual framework. Um, there's a couple more bolts to go and there's still another two two bolts to go in here, three bolts actually. Okay so what I've, um, I've just done now is I'll just remove that track uh, just because it's not secured and cut in place yet and just to show you the operation of the, the actual lift up bridge. Um, so here is the, um, the free end and the, obviously the hinged end is down this end. The hinges are actually concealed underneath the frame and if we just lift it up I'll actually reveal the, f the hinges. Now these hinges are actually um, for kitchen cabinets uh, that are used in Australia. Um, so as you can see they're recessed back into the plywood in here um, and the way in which they operate um, I'll actually come around I'll just show you as, as I lower the, the actual deck when it actually drops down it's um ends up clearing just see if you can see it now. It actually ends up clearing the pivots back on itself, so it actually ends up clearing the timber work. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually see it here. I'll just get down here and show you. As you can see there, if I have track on that face on that um, that plywood panel, it actually ends up the way it's the hinges work. They actually come out in themselves. So as you can see, you know. It's not going to bind in any way, shape, or form, and then it bends right back and ends up being self supporting, even with the bridge and everything on it. Um, it actually, the um, lift up bridge will sit there, it clears the top perfectly, um, it sits there quite well. These hinges are actually spring loaded, um, they are supposed to, um, on a, just a normal cupboard door, they will. Um, they will, um, if you go to shut the cupboard door just by itself, just with the weight, they'll actually slow the, 
door down stop him from slamming so but even with three of them just with the weight of the actual lift up bridge it won't work properly so you do actually have to hold it um, so there you have it that's it so far so this is version one um, I'm sure it'll change with a, a bit more looking at it and a few more different ideas um, so yeah, I'll keep everyone updated on now um, the JLNT lift up bridge so that's all for now okay